All right, guys, I have a new lens, the Canon 35 millimeter 1.8. I hooked it up to a Viltrox speed booster, which allows my Canon M6 to become a full frame. And that allows me to get this, uh, this camera down to a 1.4, as you can see, which is kind of crazy. We're gonna test it out on this product setup. Do a little, little bit of a Lazy Susan setup here. And then we're gonna put this lens onto the EOS R. And then we're also gonna compare the 35 millimeter on this 16 to 35, 2.8 Canon lens. So we're gonna look at 2.0 here. 35 millimeter versus the 1.4 on the EOS M6 Mark One. You can get this camera for like $330. And we're just gonna compare. I know that's confusing. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we go. Let's just turn on record on our EOS M6. And then we'll just switch over this footage and just see how it looks. I got the autofocus running on the M6, just twirling it. Okay. So let's try uh, maybe a product like a lens. We're still on the M6. All right, pretty good detail. Now let's try that same setup with the 16 to 35 millimeter on the EOS R. Let's hit record. Obviously, this isn't a scientific test, but I just want to see the 35 millimeter versus this 35 millimeter. This one's at 2.8. And I noticed right off the bat that the, uh, the OSR is a little bit more sharp. But we'll see once we get it into uh, the edit. Okay, last test. I put the 35 millimeter on the EOS R and we're gonna be at 2.0 and let's just hit record and see how that looks. I don't know, man. I don't think I can tell a difference. <laughs> 